Pictures on social media leave no doubt 18-year-old Austin Hatfield has a passion for snakes. On Saturday, investigators say a four-foot water moccasin that Hatfield caught bit him in the face inside a home in Waimama. The team was rushed to Tampa General Hospital so sick, investigators from Florida Fish and Wildlife have yet to interview him. We're learning more tonight about a Missouri man who died from a venomous snake bite. It happened Friday as the 37-year-old man waded in the James River near Nixa, Missouri. Investigators say Gilbert DeLeon was bitten twice, once in each leg, likely by a cottonmouth. His girlfriend says he refused to get medical treatment and he died in his sleep. During the night, she uh, thought he was having some labored breathing. Um, once again, could not get him to go to the doctor or seek any kind of medical attention. There won't be an autopsy, but the coroner did order a toxicology test. It should take about eight weeks to complete. Welcome to our video on the terrifying and deadly cottonmouth snake bite. To truly understand the danger these snakes pose, let's start with an introduction to cottonmouth snakes. Cottonmouth snakes, also known as water moccasins, are a species of venomous pit viper native to the southeastern United States. They inhabit a variety of aquatic environments, including swamps, marshes, and slow-moving streams. One of the most distinctive features of the cottonmouth snake is its dark, olive green to brownish black coloration, often with dark crossbands along its body. As the name suggests, the inside of their mouths is lined with a bright white or pale yellow color, giving them the appearance of cotton when they open their jaws in a defensive display. Cotton mouse are semi-aquatic snakes and are excellent swimmers. They are often found near bodies of water, where they hunt for prey such as fish, frogs, and small mammals. Despite their preference for aquatic habitats, cotton mouse are also capable of venturing onto land in search of food or during periods of drought. In addition to their aquatic lifestyle, cottonmouth snakes are known for their defensive behavior. When threatened, they will often stand their ground and display their namesake cotton-colored mouth as a warning signal. If provoked further, they may strike in defense, delivering a venomous bite. Now that we've introduced you to the cottonmouth snake, let's delve into its venomous characteristics and the potential danger it poses to humans. Cottonmouth snakes possess potent venom, primarily composed of hemotoxins. These toxins target the blood and tissues of their prey, causing extensive damage and often leading to incapacitation or death. When a cottonmouth snake bites, its hollow fangs inject venom into the victim's bloodstream. The venom begins to disrupt the body's normal functioning, leading to a cascade of symptoms that can escalate rapidly if left untreated. For humans, a cottonmouth snake bite can result in a range of symptoms, including severe pain, swelling, and tissue necrosis around the bite site. In some cases, systemic effects such as nausea, vomiting, and difficulty breathing may also occur. It's important to recognize the seriousness of a cottonmouth snake bite and seek medical attention immediately. Without prompt treatment, the effects of the venom can become life-threatening, leading to complications such as organ failure or severe infection. It's a bandit. Yeah, it's a bandit. It's a bandit now. Nope, it's caught now. It's bitten. Oh. He's a bit of a... Yeah, we're just gonna do our cotton now. Okay. Alright. Alright guys, I gotta go to the hospital. Let's go. As we continue our exploration of the cotton mouth snake, we'll discuss the symptoms and treatment options for those unfortunate enough to encounter one. In our exploration of the dangers posed by cottonmouth snakes, it's crucial to understand the symptoms that can occur after a bite, both immediately and in the long term. Following a cottonmouth snake bite, the victim may experience immediate pain and swelling at the site of the wound. The venom rapidly spreads through the bloodstream, causing localized tissue damage and inflammation. 
In addition to pain and swelling, other immediate symptoms of a cottonmouth snake bite may include redness, bruising, and blistering around the wound. The severity of these symptoms can vary depending on factors such as the location and depth of the bite, as well as the individual's reaction to the venom. When a thought was abandoned, ended up being a cottonmouth, and he bit me really good. And I ended up in the hospital. As time passes, the effects of the venom can progress, leading to more severe complications. Long-term symptoms of a cottonmouth snake bite may include tissue necrosis, where the skin and underlying tissue begin to deteriorate due to the toxic effects of the venom. In severe cases, the venom may also affect vital organs and systems, leading to systemic symptoms such as nausea, vomiting, weakness, and difficulty breathing. Without prompt medical intervention, these symptoms can quickly escalate, posing a significant risk to the victim's health and well-being. If you or someone you know has been bitten by a cottonmouth snake, it's crucial to seek medical help without delay. Time is of the essence when dealing with venomous snake bites, and prompt treatment can make all the difference in ensuring a successful recovery. One of the most effective treatments for cottonmouth snake bites is the administration of antivenom. Antivenom is a specialized medication derived from antibodies that neutralize the venom toxins, preventing further damage to the victim's body. When administered promptly, antivenom can counteract the effects of the venom, reducing pain, swelling, and tissue damage. However, it's essential to note that antivenom should only be administered by trained medical professionals in a controlled setting, as it can cause allergic reactions in some individuals. In addition to antivenom therapy, proper wound care is crucial for managing cottonmouth snake bites. This includes cleaning the bite area with antiseptic solutions to reduce the risk of infection and applying sterile dressings to promote healing. Depending on the severity of the bite, surgical intervention may be necessary to remove damaged tissue or alleviate pressure from swelling. Advanced wound care techniques, such as debridement and skin grafting, may also be employed in severe cases to facilitate recovery. Supportive therapies, such as pain management medications and intravenous fluids, may be administered to alleviate discomfort and maintain hydration and blood pressure levels during treatment. While understanding the symptoms and treatments of cottonmouth snake bites is essential, prevention is always the best course of action. Let's explore some key strategies to avoid encountering these venomous reptiles. First and foremost, staying aware of your surroundings is critical when venturing into cottonmouth territory. Keep an eye out for signs of snake activity, such as sunning themselves on rocks or logs, and listen for any warning sounds they may make. Wearing protective clothing, such as long pants and boots, can provide an extra layer of defense against snake bites. Thick, sturdy footwear can help prevent fangs from penetrating the skin, reducing the risk of injury. Avoiding areas where cottonmouths are known to inhabit is another effective prevention strategy. Pay attention to warning signs posted in parks and natural areas, and steer clear of dense underbrush, rocky outcroppings, and bodies of water where snakes may be present. If you live in an area with a high prevalence of cottonmouth snakes, consider installing snake-proof fencing around your property to deter them from entering. Keep grass and vegetation trimmed short and remove any debris or clutter where snakes may seek shelter. As we wrap up our exploration of cottonmouth snake bites, it's important to consider the conservation efforts aimed at protecting these misunderstood creatures and their habitats. Cottonmouth snakes play a vital role in their ecosystems as both predators and prey. However, habitat loss, pollution, and human encroachment pose significant threats to their survival.
conservation organizations, and wildlife agencies are working tirelessly to protect cottonmouth snake populations and their habitats. Efforts include habitat restoration projects, land conservation initiatives, and public education campaigns to raise awareness about the importance of coexisting with native wildlife. By promoting responsible land management practices and fostering appreciation for these remarkable reptiles, we can help reduce human encounters and potential snake bites. In conclusion, understanding and respecting cottonmouth snakes is key to ensuring their survival and minimizing the risk of snake bites. Together, we can make a difference in preserving these fascinating creatures and the ecosystems they inhabit. If you're passionate about wildlife conservation and want to learn more about fascinating creatures like the cottonmouth snake, be sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates and educational content. Thank you for watching and remember to stay safe and informed when exploring the great outdoors. See you next time.